well, a continuation after the foam break. This is basically the, the base. This, is, this goes that way up. There's a section that will sit over the top of there. Which I've got somewhere. I should, I should go on like that. I should sit down there. The pot will sit in the middle there. Uh, I need to change that to the square pot or oh, modify that slightly anyway. So that's all been filed out. So it, it does actually seem to, if I take the motors off, it does actually sort of work. So I don't think I need to do any more filing. That will obviously have silicon grease in there to make it a bit more uh, smooth. And that will have that base plate on the bottom. And as I showed you earlier, just put that base plate on. Just a couple of screws to hold it in place. In there, that way round. That's the back. That will actually be that way round. This is the front of the robot. That will sit there. And this will actually bolt down. So if you tighten up those bolts inside there, that'll sit inside because this those bolts don't go right through they'll just sit within there so once that's effectively it will be more like that and then you, you lock it off in there so I won't lock it off otherwise we can't actually rotate it without the motors going so that will rotate there it's also going to have ball bearings in there and grease so I think it needs a bit more well it's probably be all right at the moment smoothing down cleaning up put some bearings in there And that's going to rotate like that. So that's as far as I've got with this. I haven't powered it up. I haven't had these motors working, so they may blow up, and um, hopefully not. Uh, and that's the end of this short little bit of video.